I'm not going to say religion doesn't have a place in sports. Um, if it's important to the kids who actually play sports and the coaches who play sports, then religion does have a place in sports. Um, so to say that it's not a fair assumption to say that it does or does not, it's based on the individual and the team as well as the philosophy of the Several school. people are involved with sports at different levels, high school, college, professionally, um, that, are, that have a religious undertone. Um, and I think there's a, a, a wide number of people that are involved in those same sports at the same various levels that have uh, no religion involved at all. So I think it just depends on the program you're involved with. Me personally, I think it's a, it's a, um, I think it compl can complement sports quite, quite well. To me, it's important. I think to pray for the safety of the people competing and. For the, for the goodwill of the, the competition and that kind of thing, but um, to think that it would make me compete better or have favor um, in some way, shape, or form, I don't know, to me seems a little. Um, there's a way to glorify God within the, within the competition. I think that is, uh, is a good thing, and I think that he um, would be, I don't know if appreciative is the right word of that, but I think that he would um, enjoy that or, or gain glory from that. Um, now, now that can look like a lot of different things. I, I don't feel that in the big scheme of things, sport is as important as what we make it. And, and when we make it a, a, a situation where God chooses a winner and chooses a loser, and that's coming out of somebody's mouth, you know, it might be a, a thought that they're having. That, that's fine, but when it comes out of somebody's mouth, I feel that like that kind of talk does more damage to those that don't believe. Than, than actually saying it causes more damage than it causes good. Yeah. I always pray. I always pray before, I always pray after because I, I always felt blessed for having the ability that I had. And while I was coaching, I always felt blessed for being able to coach the, the, the great game of football and, and felt that everybody that was, was playing, that they were blessed, especially if you finish the game in good health. I think they both have a few things in common. Number one, I think they have the capacity to keep a person preoccupied, uh, physically fit, and they give them some uh, at least mental relief if they are successful, or even if they're not successful, so long as they're beating their times or meeting uh, uh, where they were the first time that they've done something. On the same time, religion gives you peace of mind and uh, gives you uh, that satisfaction that uh, if there's a power that's beyond yours in order to uh, uh, help guide you, I guess, through life or through your daily uh, business. So, you know, I think, uh, I, I think you can find the majority of peace of mind.
economic stand, standpoint, mm -hmm. from a medical standpoint, where you know if they do believe, it, it creates a positive nature, uh, and, they, and they benefit from that. Um, just like you might see drawbacks from you know some kids don't respond from negative pressure, uh, brings them down, knocks them down. I kind of see the, the opposite of that too, with possibly. Well, I'm very active in my church, um, but, you know, really, really active, but as far as being a three-sport coach and now an athletic director, I've probably been to more sporting events than church, but I'm pretty active in my church as well. I serve and, and lead Bible studies and, and go to church about every Sunday, and probably my attendance is 80% or higher at least, so, yeah, it's, it's a... Uh, it, just because there's more opportunities to go to sporting events than there are to church things. As well as when I was the wrestling coach at Wichita Heights, after every competition against another team, after every duel, we would go to the middle of the mat, and it was invite only, but most of the team went. Um, it was not forced on them. Um, and as well as we invited the opposing team in to come, and we would all meet in the middle of the mat with the opposing team, and we would pray at the end of every I don't know, as a coach personally, I feel like um, I don't ever try to impose my religion on anybody else or whatever, but I always want to make sure that it's known and publicized that I am a religious person and believe in God and, and have faith and those kind of things. And, um, you know, I think uh, that can be respected and appreciated on many levels without being, um, I don't know, hated or despised or living for basketball or living to be a football player, basketball player, whatever. Um, you know, to, to me, the ultimate goal is to, is to live for God, which encompasses so many other things as far as your, your relationships with your friends and, and your work ethic and who you are as an individual. And that's where I think it can be brought into sport and, and um, demonstrated through the competitive arena or whatever. You know, um, I, th I think our duty is, as uh, Christians or as um, individuals really in life is to do our best at whatever we're doing and be passionate about it now. I grew up in a Catholic family and, and attended Catholic schools all my life from, from elementary, middle school, high school, and even opportunity to play college sports in college at a Catholic college. So I think sports are very important to social religion. You know, as, uh, as a player and a coach, I think you, you pray that uh, for each game and pray that uh, things go well, everybody's safe, you know, to and from the game and, and uh, uh, sport, religion is, is definitely uh, on our minds, you know, the teams I've played with and our players and, and uh, I think coaches as well, but uh, I think it plays a vital role in, in sports. Played sports all my life, I know in the Catholic Church they have, you have an opportunity to go with Saturday evening Mass early Sunday morning and I know our schedule went, definitely went around our, our uh, athletic schedule mm -hmm. basketball growing up and so we never missed mass we made sure we attended mass but we also made sure it didn't get interfere with our schedule Here at, at North we do the Our Father before each game and, and um, uh, made sure each each player recited the Our Father which is a group it wasn't forced upon them but they they definitely wanted to be a part of it and, and, and you know it wouldn't be involved with it so uh, that was one of the things we used and as a player um, I just say a few Hail Marys and, and, and maybe an Our Father but uh, I definitely pray before each game. As a player just got me in that moment to, to relax and have a time you know of prayer and just kind of get my thoughts together before I played mm -hmm. and it mostly probably you know settled me down a little bit but as far as results you got to go out and play the game. Yeah as a coach um what do you hope that aim for your team is? Well, we pray just so we're all on the, on the same page, I think, and, and uh, it was always open to kids want to throw in maybe, you know, their grandparents, grandmother, you know, is, is sick or ill, they throw that in and stuff like that. Just a kind of a team unity, a bonding we'd have before the game, kind of a, you know, you know, silence before the, before the, uh, before the storms type of thing. Give me some signs or whatever. I, you know, if I'm doing anything right, or wrong, you know. And but I'll be honest. I, you know, I, I, I pray that uh, we just go out, you know, perform to our best. And that's all you can ask those kids. And I think they agree with you too. Yeah. So.